I am Jason, and this is my capstone. Um, I wasn't gonna do a who, who am I presentation, but since everyone else is, I guess I'm gonna do the same. First off, I'm a son, and I'm a brother. You know, I, I come from a big family. Um, when I was born, I was born into a family of well over 300. Um, so. I got I come from a really big background. Um I I have five brothers and two sisters myself. Um I am the oldest. I became a father real young. I was sixteen when my daughter was made and seventeen when she was born, so I had to grow up real fast. Um, so I dropped out of school. That was not a priority. Money was a priority. Being a father was a priority. Um, I couldn't even be a son anymore or a brother. You know, I had to change up my whole way of life. And I got stressed out, right? So I turned to a life of addiction and street life. It was easier. Everything was easier that way. I don't have any responsibilities, no accountability, nothing. So I took the easy way out. I did this for about 20 years. Um, my daughter just turned 20 this year. So her whole life, I've been distant. I have been not around. I chose sobriety. I chose to make a, a change in my life because I was going nowhere. I'm pushing 40 pretty soon. And the way I was going, I had no future outlook. Um, I was ready just to give up. So I put myself in inpatient treatment, outpatient treatment. So I put myself into counseling. I put myself into different places where I could get my mind, my state, my, my bright state of mind back, you know, because I don't like to fail. We talk about being a competitor. Um, I am. And I compete at life, and I was losing dramatically. So now I'm building a new foundation and a new way of living. I've been, in, I think I got about 26 months sober almost. Yeah. And it's, it's been one of the greatest, like, experiences in my life. Stressful as all get out of it. Um, just like this class, I get to, I get to go through and figure out what Jason. How, he, um, how Jason ticks. So I have a lot of struggles. Time management. I've never had to have anything on time. So I struggle with this. Being at work on time, being at school on time, being at my life on time, I've, I've had a struggle. And since I have that, that time management struggle, I also have prioritizing. I don't know what's more important throughout the day. Um, I'm learning right now is my most important. And I've been putting everything else in, in front of this. So I'm starting to lose my contact with my education. So and that's keeping me from staying present. I don't come to school all the time. I have other life that, you know, I work, I gotta pay bills, I gotta do different types of stuff. So it's taken me a long time to be able to get a schedule that's convenient for me so I can stay present. I finally got one. I, it took two years, but I got work and AA meetings in school, and I have my weekends off. It's taken me a long time. So it gets to my areas of improvements and independence. I hate asking for help. I hate it. That's, that's the Virgo in me, and that's the Puerto Rican in me, and that's just <laughs> Me growing up on my own, I hate asking for help. I feel like I've been doing good enough, you know, so. And then, of course, to stay in present, i got to stay present. i got to stay motivated. A lot of these classes help me stay present. The note-takings, the, um, knowing where to go for my resources, knowing where I can do homework if I can't do it at home, or the people. I love the people. I'm a big, big people person and then developing um, emotional dependence. I get emotional easy. Um, 
I grew up not knowing a lot of basic tools of just to get through life. I didn't know how to not be angry. I didn't know how to communicate my um, worries or anything like this. So I bottle, I bottle up, and I tend to explode. So I need to be able to keep my mind right. I need to be able to keep my cool better, and counseling is doing this for me. Um, having a planner and using it and utilizing it, it helps me with everything, I promise you. Lessons and insights I can take from this course, the importance of note-taking. That helps me stay present. It helps me stay engaged. It helps me go back because my memory is not the best. Um, that also helps me with my past assignments because I, too, have a lot of past assignments that I wasn't able to get to. And I feel if I don't do it right away, there's no going back. And this is something I need to get past myself because there's always time. And a lot of us, even in here, are a product of that. You know, like, there's always a second chance. You just got to utilize it. Staying engaged. Um, the planners and the smart goals, using them, um, it helps me. I did not want to come here a lot. I look at my planner, or I look at my calendar, I put one up in my room, and it lets me know I have to be here. This is some, if I want a future, if I want a better Jason, this is, this is my um, foundation. And the skills. I'm learning how to be able to stay in tune with myself, my ups and downs, what has me, what sets me off or what gets me happy. Um, what I need to work on and what I can let go. And these, I've always done smart goals before, but not as extensive. You know, like all this other different additives, like the measurable and all the different type of stuff. It's so this has helped me with my um, self awareness, what I need to work on. Um, I've been doing a lot of prereqs my first year. All my prereqs are done for my for my associates, but. If I don't keep on using them smart goals, I'll fall off real quick, real quick, because this helps keep me accountable. And that's what I need most. I need accountability. And then using the resources. I go to the BFET program. I, I really don't have to, but this lady reached out to me, and this is where I go for everything. She is my advisor. She is my school counselor. She... She is my financial aid for so on. She does everything. She's amazing. Um, if it wasn't for her, I don't, I don't think I'd even be here still. My grounders, which I did not bring, and I feel I was behind too because I woke up late. I didn't. I also did not want to share today, <laughs> so I forgot it. But I had a picture of my daughter when she graduated. Um, really big inspiration. I was fortunate enough to finally get my GED a year before she graduated high school. So I, I didn't want to have that laying over my head like my daughter graduating got started in life before I did, right? <laughs> and then my other grounders is I disc golf. I'm really big into disc golf. This is like one of my biggest hobbies in life. It's my, it's my escape from my everyday reality. Um, it's good to have something to, you got to have your own time because we all have life, right? We have responsibilities. We all have like stuff that we have to do, but you got to have your own time. So this is my time. Um, I devote a lot of my extra time to that. It helps with finding my Zen. It's my secret, right? Um, it's, it helps me stay myself. It's another place I'm able to stay myself and I don't have to change up and I don't have to be accountable too much. You know, so that's my break for me. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't make the 10 minutes, but I could, I don't, I'm not good at speaking about myself. Um, it's really, really hard. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it with that. <laughs>